Xavi's wife posts picture of their son wearing a Man United shirt. Xavi's wife may have accidentally spilled a secret about the family's fondness for Manchester United amid her husband's links to the Old Trafford hot seat. Nuria Cunillera shared an Instagram snap of Xavi sat at the family table with son Dan, 5, and daughter Asia, 8 and the former was decked out in an old United strip as he sorted through his football stickers. Mail Sport exclusively revealed last week that United have held talks with former Barcelona manager Xavi on two occasions over their managerial role. A 2-1 defeat by West Ham on Sunday has only piled more pressure on Eric Ten Hag, whose side are now 14th in the Premier League and have won once in their last eight games in all competitions. Xavi's son was wearing a kit from when United's front of shirt sponsor was team viewer between the 2021-22 season and 2023-24 perhaps suggesting he has been into the club for some time. At the very least, it means that the family were willing to fork out on or accept the uniform of one of Xavi's old rivals, with the Spain legend having beaten United in the 2009 and 2011 Champions League finals. A four-man delegation led by United Chief Executive Omar Barada flew out to Barcelona earlier this month although United sources say that a number of high-level meetings have taken place in the Catalan capital recently because co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe had been there to support Ineos Britannia sailing team in their battle with New Zealand for the America's Cup, which they lost. Xavi has previously made clear his desire to manage in the Premier League. I would be thrilled to work there, he once told the Times. Everyone tells me that the Premier League is wonderful, a great league to work in. First of all, for the passion with how they live the game. How they treat and respect you, the atmosphere and the stadiums. So why not? I could see myself in England, definitely, it's one of the things I'd like to experience in my career. Xavi drops huge Man United hint after holding talks over replacing under-fire Eric Ten Hag. Xavi has sent Manchester United fans into a social media frenzy after his wife shared a snap of him and his son with the youngster wearing a Red Devils kit. The former Barcelona boss, 44, is unattached after leaving the Spanish Giants at the end of last season and has emerged as a potential contender to succeed Eric Ten Hag in recent weeks as a result of United's poor start to the new campaign. Xavi is said to have been sounded out by United over the manager's job recently. And fans are convinced the Spaniard has now dropped a hint about taking on the job. In an Instagram story shared by his wife on Sunday, Xavi can be seen with his young son filling in a sticker book. The youngster is wearing this season's Manchester United home kit and has already fueled speculation that Xavi is up for the job. The top brass at Manchester United held a seven-hour crisis meeting during the international break earlier this month. However, the meeting, led by Sir Jim Ratcliffe, did not lead to a change in manager. Unfortunately for Ten Hag, that hasn't prevented speculation over his future. And the noise will only grow louder after the Red Devils fell to a disappointing 2-1 defeat away at West Ham on Sunday. Sky Sports pundit Jamie O'Hara insisted post-match that enough was enough and that Ten Hag should be put out of his misery, adding that he would have made the decision to part ways back in the summer if he were calling the shots. He said, 9 games and in, United, are 14th in the table, come on, this is Man United. You can almost accept if they're 9th, you know, being, in the top half and it hasn't quite happened. They've lost 4 games already this season, they've played 9. When the former Tottenham midfielder was pressed on what he'd do given results, he continued, I'd get rid of him, I would've gotten rid of him 3 months ago. I wouldn't have gave him a contract after the FA Cup, I'd have said, thanks very much, you finished with a trophy, go out on a high. They should have got something from the game today but overall they've been poor. I've watched them in the Europa League as well and they've been poor. Gary Neville pinpoints when he thinks Eric Ten Hag will be sacked with pressure becoming unbearable after Man United lose again. Manchester United legend Gary Neville has stared into his crystal ball and revealed when he believes beleaguered boss Eric Ten Hag will be relieved of his duties at Old Trafford. The Red Devils plumbed new depths on Sunday after slumping to a 2-1 defeat at the hands of West Ham thanks to a last-minute penalty converted by Jared Bowen. Ten Hag later branded the decision yet another example of injustice against his struggling side. Crescentio Somerville's 74th-minute opener followed a first half devoid of quality and was soon cancelled out by a Casemiro header, before Bowen broke United hearts. 
The defeat leaves the Red Devils in 14th, below the Hammers having won just 11 points from their first 9 matches, piling pressure on a struggling Ten Hag. Now former right-back Neville has pinpointed exactly when he thinks the Dutchman will get sacked, while talking on his Sky Sports podcast. He said, Eric Ten Hag is asking for trouble. He's 14th in the league 9 games in, and 9 games is nearly 25% of the season gone. It will be a big worry for everybody at the club because the performance levels. United should have been up but they lost. They are 14th, they've spent a fortune. I was quite clear at the end of last season that if they're in that same position in the league after the first few months there will be a lot of questions being asked. Man United were beaten by a sham of a penalty, but they are a shambling wreck of a team. They've got a game in midweek but it will all come down to next weekend's game against Chelsea. Anybody that is half decent, that can play, have the quality in parts of the pitch, can beat this United team and they're in danger. I don't think there can be another defeat next weekend at Old Trafford. It's getting to that point where there is a real worry, I'm worried. The results, the lack of goals, lack of performances are stacking up week after week. These are the players that have been recruited over the last couple of seasons mainly. It's a sobering time. It's getting to the point where by it will become unbearable the pressure in the next week or two around 10 hang purely because of the position in the league. They're 14th. You can't be 14th in the league after 9 games. Earlier this week, it was revealed the club had held secret talks with a number of managers over replacing Eric Ten Hag as the Dutchman once again fights to save his job at Old Trafford. Eric Ten Hag bemoans unfair and unjust West Ham penalty against Man United. Eric Ten Hag did not hold back in his fierce criticism of the decision to award West Ham United a penalty which condemned Manchester United to a 2-1 loss at the London Stadium on Sunday. Crescentio Somerville gave the hosts a belated lead in the 74th minute which was swiftly cancelled out by Casemiro's header. The match had meandered into its final five minutes by the time United centre-back Mathis de Ligt gently collided with Danny Ings. Referee David Coote waved the incident away, although there were few appeals from anyone aside from Ings. They are Michael Oliver saw otherwise, identifying sufficient contact on Ings' lower leg. Following a pitch-side review, Coote awarded a penalty which Jared Bowen coolly converted in the 92nd minute. Much like many Manchester United fans on social media, Ten Hag didn't hide his disgust, telling BBC's match of the day that the decision was unfair and unjust. The Dutchman added, it was so difficult to see. Before the season there was the instruction about VAR only interfering in clear and obvious mistakes. That is definitely not a clear and obvious mistake from the on-field referee. More frustrations but I can do nothing with that. They don't collect points and that's what we have to do. We have to look in the mirror, we don't score in a good game from our side. Create loads of chances and concede none but when you lose in this way it's a bad feeling. Ten Hag revealed that he spoke with the officials, but conceded, the decision is made. There's no way back and that's football. That's a third time I have felt injustice in this season and it has a big impact on our team and on our scores and where we are in the table. It's not right. United squandered a glut of first-half scoring opportunities, with Diogo Dalot guilty of a particularly egregious miss, much to Ten Hag's frustration. We have to score, we created so many chances, the under-pressure manager lamented. We should have been two or three up. Second half we were forcing it but we allowed them into the game. When you are losing 1-0 you need big personality and character of the team and showed resilience to get back into it. 